super cool video that I'm gonna show you guys today. So as you see, I'm wearing my Meta Ray-Bans and they just dropped a huge update and I'm gonna show you exactly how you can get into this update right away and start using these features right away. But today what I'm gonna be doing is showing you the new update, the Meta Ray-Bans came out with live AI and they also came out with live translation and Shazam support. I don't really care much about the Shazam support, but the live AI and live translation is Definitely, definitely something I've been waiting for. Um, so we can see here, you know, this is the official Meta Ray-Ban site. Um, Ray-Ban Meta Glasses add live AI, live translations, and Shazam support. Okay, so whether you're ready, whether, whether you already own a pair or you're hoping Santa drops one down the chimney, Ray-Ban Meta Glasses are the gift that keeps on giving. Right out of the box, they help you experience the world sharing your POV and capture the moments and matter completely hands-free. So these have been really, really cool. This is just talking about like what they do now, but I've been using these literally nonstop since I've got them uh, about six months ago. I made videos about how like I hacked these glasses, everything like that. Um, but now we have the capabilities of not saying like, hey meta or hey meta this, you know what I mean? Um, we can just turn on live translations and then, or live AI, and what's gonna happen is it's just gonna listen and watch all the time. So a lot of people might be freaked out by that, but I think the technology is really getting there where we're gonna be able to say, you know, wear these while you're working on something and it's gonna show you exactly what you should do. Or it doesn't really show you anything, but it just tells you. Um, so my glasses keep talking to me right now because I'm talking about it. Um, but we're gonna go right into this. So live AI and live translations via early access program. So I'm gonna show you exactly how you can get access to the early access program. And I'm gonna show you some examples of what the live does. So uh, members of the early access program are about to tap into two new superpowers that are announced at Connect 2024. So they did already announce this. Um, I'm just now getting access, so that's why I'm making this video. So the first is Live AI, which adds video on meta on your glasses, okay? To the Meta AI, right? So during a live AI session, Meta AI can see what you see continuously and converse with you more naturally than ever before. Okay, so it's really cool. I'm gonna show you real quick what it does. I'm going to show you how to get access, and then I'm just gonna put my microphone up to my ears so that you can hear exactly what it's saying to me when I do turn this on. Okay, so what we're gonna do, come on over here. Let's move this over, right? So Right here, if you go to meta.com, if you have a pair of Ray-Bans, the Meta Ray-Bans, okay, and you live in the United States, now mind you, you have to live in the United States. If not, this does not work for you yet, sorry. Um, so you go to meta.com slash AI dash glasses slash early dash access dash program dash, okay? So super, super simple, and there it is right there um, at the top if you wanna pause the video and take this down. But you're gonna go here, and then it's gonna say, be the first to try new features, join our early access program waitlist to access features and provide feedback that helps shape the future of AI glasses, okay? So what we're gonna do is we simply put in your glasses serial number. If you don't know how to get your glasses serial number, it's super easy, it's right on your Meta app, um, on your Ray-Ban app on your phone. So you click here, how do I find my glasses serial number? I'll let you guys do that. As soon as you do that, you're gonna put in your glasses serial number and click join waitlist. Um, it took about a day for them to give me access, but you will see the access in your app. Um, and in your app, it will say like you can turn it on now. Um, super, super simple, works really quick. So here we go. Um, I'm gonna start these glasses out. So it might look a little funky, but I'm gonna hold this microphone up next to my ears when it's talking to me and show you exactly what it does. So, hey Meta, turn on live AI. Okay, here we go. Hey Meta. Turn on live AI. I can't help with that. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Hey Meta, turn on live AI. Live AI session with video starting now. Okay, and I'm gonna turn this up because we wanna make sure that you guys can hear all of this, okay? So what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do Meta is I'm actually looking at a screen right now, and let's get rid of this. Uh, it seems like you're looking at a website for Ray-Ban Meta Glasses. Hold on. I'm here to help. Okay, so we have 
we have a website right here in front of me and can you tell me what I'm looking at right now? You are looking at a website with a purple background and a person's face. Okay. There is a button that's Okay, um now what does this website appear to be? Can you just tell me that? Now this is something simple that we're gonna start doing first. This website appears to be a learning platform for artificial intelligence and automation. Great, yeah, so this is actually my learning platform. This is AIwithchris.com, and people can come here and actually learn about AI, use AI tools, and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go over the design, and I'm just gonna kinda show you what I have here and what I designed, um, and you can tell me your honest opinion about what you think about the website and um, anything that I may need to improve. The website has a clean and modern design with a clear and concise layout. The use of purple and white colors is visually appealing. Okay, um, if I had to change anything, what would you say I should change? I think the website looks good overall. Okay. However, keep going, I'm sorry. You may also want to consider adding Adding more what? I'm sorry. You may also want to consider adding more specific details about the courses and tools offered on the website, such as a list of topics covered or a demo of the tools. Okay, um, now I clicked on a new page. Can you tell me what I'm looking at now? You are looking at a page with a collection of AI tools, yep. including okay. an Etsy list. Okay, perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually go into the dashboard, and then I can have you criticize the dashboard. I'm ready to help. Please go ahead and navigate to the dashboard. Okay, so what I, I am at the dashboard now. Um, you can see that, correct? Yes, I can see the dashboard. Okay, it great. Welcome. Yeah, so it has. Is there any... What 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 exactly do you see on the dashboard, and what do you see on the left side uh, navigation? I see a welcome message, a list of AI battery fifty percent. <laughs> okay. Um, so as you can see, like this is pretty cool, but it does have its problems. So we're gonna keep going into this. It's still streaming live. Um, as you notice, I haven't said like anything like, hey meta or anything like that. So, okay, go ahead and tell me um, what I have on the left hand sidebar and all the agents that I offer. Now, th this is in real time, so um, let's see what's going on. Can you still see my screen? Yes, I can still see your screen. Okay, and um, wh what am I looking at now, just to confirm? You are looking at a web page with a purple background and a list of AI tools and resources. Okay, great. So can you list off some of those AI agents that I have on the left-hand side? page audit and Instagram hashtag finder okay do you see any more or is that all you see I see a few more AI agents including blog creator agreement creator email crafter and message o3 mini high agent okay um, so if you had to give me some ideas I'm, I'm kind of drawing a blank on exactly what I should add for these AI agents on the site so could you give me a few ideas on a few agents that I should add media manager, a content generator, a chatbot, a virtual assistant, or a language translator. Okay, um, so they have to be more unique and uh, give a little more power than what, you, what you're talking about. Here are a few more ideas for AI agents that could provide more unique and powerful capabilities. A predictive analytics tool, a natural language processing engine, a machine learning model trainer, or a data visualization generator. Great, okay. Um, so overall, what do you think of the design that I have going on now? So this is a fairly new website, um, and I launched about a month ago, and this is where I'm at today. Overall, I think the design is clean and modern, with a clear and concise layout. The use of purple and white colors is visually appealing. Great, okay. Um, so you guys can see 
you know, it's still in the beta phase. So, you know, from here on out, it's only going to get better. But as we can see that the AI actually can communicate without me saying like, hey, meta now. Um, it's really cool when it comes to stuff like that. Um, other than that, you know, it does have some bugs and it does, you know, need some work. But as you can see, these glasses, if you've got them from day one, they have been ever evolving into a powerhouse of an application on your glasses. So um, I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your experience with these glasses. And, you know, this is just a very small um, experiment with these glasses. You know, you can use them for anything. Uh, maybe try using them when you're cooking. Tell it to tell you how to cook or something crazy. You know what I mean? So it's always watching. Um, and to simply turn it off, you can just say, hey, Meta, turn off live AI. Okay, so so there we go. It, it, ta it just talked about something else. So you can see these kind of bugs that we have here now with these glasses, but um, nothing that should really stray you off the glasses because they're really doing something that a lot of people aren't doing. Um, and this video is not like a promotion for them. I'm not getting paid for this. Um, just my honest thoughts because I do really like um, the technology behind these. Okay, so go ahead, Meta, and you know, uh, close AI live view. Hey Meta, turn off live AI. Live AI session ended. There we go. So it finally turned off. Usually it works pretty well when I tell it to turn off. Um, it thought I was still talking about the video and you guys couldn't hear what it was saying, but it kept uh, talking about how like stuff with the website and like the video I'm making. It knew that I'm actually making a video, which is kind of weird. Um, I used them the other day. I used the live AI, just walk around everyday life. And what I did notice is like it does eavesdrop on, on things. And um, like I was talking to my wife and it would like put in its input about what I was saying to my wife or what she was saying to me. So just keep that in mind if you're running the live AI all the time. Um, it is getting kind of weird, but it, I think it's really cool. So like I said, I hope everyone enjoys this video. Give it a thumbs up. I will talk to everyone later. See ya.